Okay, so ito na yung last part ng video. Uh, natapos na natin yung column design, beam design, tsaka slab design. So, remaining na lang is yung putting design. Okay, so uh, again, kailangan natin i-open yung studded bands concrete. <laughs> Okay, so ito, right click open. Then, so same project name, SMDC. Then, uh, engineer, yung initial nyo. So, design codes, kung NSCP yan, gamitan nyo ng ACI 318. Then, CP for Singapore, BS for British Standards, and EN for Eurocode. Okay, so next na gagawin natin is i-key in mo rito yung uh, structure natin. Okay, analyze from stud. Then, putting. Click mo yung putting. Okay. Click putting, then click create new project. Yan. Okay, so column layout yan. Okay, column layout yan. So, set up ulit natin yung uh, basic load cases. Uh, X, uh, X, uh, Z, Z, uh, D, then live load. Okay. So, two ways, no? Either kunin mo yung load combinations from stud, okay? Or dito mo i-generate yung load combinations. So, pwede yun. Kaya, okay? Kung galing sa stud, so click mo lang to. So, pero ang load combination natin from the start uh, ng column design, so dito natin generate. So, okay, dalin mo lang doon, then click OK. Then, i-generate mo na yung load combination dito. Ngayon, sa putting design, kailangan na, uh, uh, kailangan mo ng dalawang load combinations. Okay, uh, co load combination sets. One is yung uh, service and one is yung factored. Yung service para dun sa putting sizes, then yung factored naman para sa putting thickness, sa punching check, tsaka sa reinforcing design. Okay, so generate ka dito. Ayun, so ped editable yan na pwede mong i-change, i-change, i-save, tsaka gamitin in the future. So, ito rin. Ayan. So, dito sa design, tsaka sa sizing. Okay? So, pwede mo pang i-change yan. Okay? Kung gusto mo. So, I just click OK. Let's say itong, pa itong 0.7, pwede mong i-change yan. Okay? So, let's say 0 0.8. Okay? So, but i-keep lang natin ito na 0 0.7 as per the uh, auto-generated. So, click OK. Uh, uh, then, punta tayo sa settings, uh, general settings. Okay, so, uh, select mo lang yung, report, yung uh, <coughs> concrete strength na gusto mong gamitin, tsaka yung uh, uh, FY na gusto mong gamitin. Then, input mo lang dito yung uh, soil bearing capacity. Okay, so let's say, in-assume ko na lang na 200 yung 200 kN per square meter. Uh, then may mga other settings pa dito na kung gusto nyo uh, uh, i-modify. So let's say kung gusto mo increase yung SBC uh, with combination ng mayroong lateral load. So let's say SBC increase in earthquake. So let's say type mo dyan 0.33. Okay, as per UBC. Uh, basta yung load combination na involved yung lateral, pwede mo increase yung SBC. Okay, but i-keep ko lang ito na zero. So, pero merong functionality na i-change dito. Okay? So, it's up to you. So, kayo nang bahala doon sa design niyo. Okay? Uh, then, kung may additional surcharge load ka, okay, uh, <coughs> pwede mo rin uh, i-dagdag, uh, i-top up doon sa existing uh, loads. Okay? So, anyway, uh, i-keep ko na lang na zero yun. So, soil density, uh, Ayan, uh, soil density, pwede mong i-change uh, gano'n ba yung depth ng putting from ground. Okay, uh, pati kung gano'n yung, yung depth ng water table from uh, <coughs> from the ground. So, pag gano'n pag ganun kasi mag-iba yung uh, SBC mo eh. Pag mas malapit yung water table doon sa, uh, sa, <coughs> sa, sa, sa ground. Okay, uh, kinoconsider yun yung program. 
uh, start charge load okay so zero then so click lang natin to okay then uh, mukhang ready na tayo anyway check natin settings sa uh, reinforcing pito mo tayo dito sa reinforce, reinforcement settings uh, minimum bar natin uh, gamitan natin ng 12 ano na max minimum bottom bar minimum top steel if ever so 12 then maximum is let's say 25 shear uh, just in case kailanganin ng shear reinforcing uh, minimum 12 maximum uh, 25 wait lang Min max minimum maximum minimum okay maximum okay so minimum maximum ito uh, let's say minimum 12 then maximum 25 okay uh, then click lang natin to okay then put tayo sa settings uh, detailing and drawing settings um, kung okay na to uh, punta tayo dito sa general settings uh, okay i-uncheck ko lang yan then click ok then ready na to so punta ko lang sa design then auto design ayun so ganun kabilis so meron na tayong putting design so makita nyo sa mga sa walls natin ano so rectangular din yung shape nung uh, <coughs> nung, nung putting ayan, ito putting schedule na to eh okay? uh, itong output dito and ito yung putting uh, ito yung foundation plan okay okay then uh, click save then uh, gawin ko lang itong let's say uh, putting okay putting design okay putting design then I mean click save okay click save uh, click save and click save then <clears throat> Uh, okay, click save natin Next is, ito na, putting schedule na to eh. Modify, so reports Then calculation, design calculation So let's say FC Let's say FC2 Para sa wall And uh, FC11, let's say for <coughs> Or FC, FC, okay, FC11 So click OK So ito na yung putting design calculation Okay as per ACI okay, then uh, save ko lang ito then gawin ko itong uh, putting plan <clears throat> then punta lang ako dito sa reports then uh, text schedule so let's say vertical ok so ito na yung uh, putting schedule Okay, so check na natin to reports, text schedule, horizontal. Mas maganda yung uh, vertical. Okay? Ayan. So then save ko lang din ito. Let's say putting schedule. Okay, putting schedule. Okay, that's it. Okay, so putting schedule. Uh, yan. Okay. Uh, then uh, open lang natin. Yun ulit sa AutoCAD. Click open. So putting plan, putting schedule. Click open. Okay. So copyin ko lang to. Then punta tayo sa title block natin. At then uh, kunin natin yung uh, schedule okay then paste natin dito sa title block yon so ito na okay so meron tayong uh, foundation plan tsaka ito yung uh, 
putting schedule okay Ayan na. So then, uh, pwede ka rin kung gusto mo maglagay ng details, let's say, ng kahit anong puting dyan. Ano? So, punta ka lang sa <coughs> reports, then detailed drawing. So, let's say, FC11. Okay, then click OK. Ayan, so, ito yung detail ng FC11. Uh, okay. Ayan, so, ito yung section niya. Okay. Then, yun yung reinforcing. Diameter 12 at 175. Diameter 12 at 190. Okay? So, magkaiba sila ng spacing. Okay? And kung yung sa wall naman, tingnan natin itong uh, FC12. Reports. Then, detailed drawing. Let's say FC12. Click OK. And So, FC12. So, makikita nyo merong section eh. 1 and 2. Then, section 1 and 2. So, ito yung section niya na na-generate. So, so i-save mo lang to Let's say, uh, FC12. Okay, detail, let's say. Then, click mo lang save. Then, uh, open mo lang. FC12. Then, click open. Okay. Uh, then, pwede mong ilagay lang din yan sa, let's say, kung gusto mong ilagay sa drawing. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> so ngayon, uh, hindi uh, basic detail pa lang to, no? Pero kung gusto mo ng uh, construction drawing or cutting list, punta lang sa BBS, then generate BBS. So, let's say, FC12. So, pwedeng lahat, eh. I-generate mo na. Okay. So, uh, uh, kaya lang FC12 lang pinakita ko. So anyway, gawin natin lang itong tatlo. Click generate. Ayan. So, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So anyway, madali lang naman pag putting eh. So, isang shape lang yun. Magkaiba lang, uh, isang shape lang yun. So magkaiba lang sila ng dimension. So makikita mo dalawang uh, shape lang. Okay. Yun. So, ah, uh, um, ganyan, ganun lang kadali gamitin itong program so uh, kung may basic uh, I mean intermediate uh, CAD skill ka kahit ikaw na mag produce ng, ng, ng drawing mo from from uh, from stud using the stud advanced concrete design ok so uh, thank you and see you for more videos